r slash rules horror posted by you slash quality underscore pancake have fun on your cruise we're so glad you've decided to vacation on regalia cruise line you have chosen to go on oro of the seas it also seems as though you did not read the fine print because if you did you most certainly wouldn't have chosen this cruise line no matter though that's what i'm here for you can call me dinella you'll never meet me but i like telling people my name it's not anything sinister I just really like knowing that people know I exist. So the Oro of the Seas. The website said we would be sailing to the Bahamas, but we're not really going there. We're sailing through the Pile Gros Ocean. If the name wasn't obvious, it's really dangerous. Since we're a heavily funded cruise line, it won't be as dangerous if you were on say, Caribbean Cruise Line and it accidentally sailed through there. That's also rather easy to do. Every so often we see a random cruise line that's completely lost and we save them. It happens a lot more than you think, and also a lot more than we think because those are the lucky ships. But I'm going on a tangent. Below is a list of rules to make sure that you get out alive, because even though we have top-notch security, if you don't know the rules, it's never a guarantee. One always know where the security guards are. They are heavily armed, but won't train those weapons on you. They also aren't human. They don't eat food, they eat people. But they won't eat you, they only eat pirates. To check the map often. The ship layout changes sometimes which can be confusing, and sometimes, it can be incredibly dangerous. The map changes with it. 3 If there's a storm, head to your room immediately. These are not normal storms, they are caused by something in the water. You don't need to know what it is, but if you're particularly curious, try asking anyone who works on the ship. In any case, your room is the safest place during a storm. Do not go on deck, unless you want to die. For this isn't a rule, but we do want you to know that we try to make our ship as normal and as comfortable as possible. You may go anywhere and everywhere, except for someone else's room, uninvited, the boiler room, or the captain's cabin. Should you enter any of these places, security will be notified immediately and you will be thrown into the water. Floor 12 is also off limits for most people, please refer to Rule 8 for more information. 5. The buffet is open 24-7 and we have special dishes that cater to whatever you want. Our chefs are best at cooking Latin American food. Some of the meat may seem suspicious but rest assured, it tastes good. 6. If you hear alarms, please refer to the list below as to what they mean. 6a. If the alarm sounds like birds chirping, it means the boiler room is overheating. Anyone on floors 1 to 4 must go to floors 5 and above. 6b. If it sounds like a typical fire alarm, it means there's a fire on board. Security will escort you to somewhere safer. 6c. If it sounds like a siren, it means that there's a storm. Refer to rule 3 for what to do. 60. It's not a siren, but the captain will speak on the intercom. He will repeat code red, which means there are pirates on board. Similarly to the storm, head to your room immediately and hide. Security will deal with them. If you cannot head to your room, find the nearest security guard. If a pirate discovers you before you make it to your room or find a security guard, fight back. This will, hopefully, buy you time before a security guard finds you. If you are in your room and a pirate breaks in, hit the yellow button next to your bed. A security guard will be alerted and will be at your location shortly. If you are captured, you will face a fate worse than death. Not like, an unrealistic one, but like actually a fate worse than death. You can probably guess what I'm going at. So yeah, listen to the rules. 7. Don't bring your kids. It's too dangerous for them. If children are discovered, they will be sent to the kids' room until the cruise is over. The parent, or whoever brought them on board, will be found and dealt with. 8. Floor 12 is only for those with a VIP card. If you do not have a VIP card and are found on floor 12, security will eat you and you will die. 9. After around 8 days on the cruise, we will begin heading out of the Pile Gros Ocean. Around this time, Airborne creatures will begin attacking the ship. We advise that you do not stay on deck more than necessary, as they are very fast creatures, and security cannot help you if you have been caught by one. 10. Our pool is open 24-7, however, it's not advised to swim after the sun sets, because, for an unexplained reason, the water drops to freezing temperatures without actually freezing over. 11. The ship may begin to seem as though it will capsize. It is. If you are on deck. Please enter the nearest safety cubicle or head inside. If you do not, you will be eaten. That's everything. I know I mentioned earlier that it's dangerous, 
but our death rates only used to be high because we had no rules. But we do now. So now you can stay alive instead of being another number to add to our charts and statistics. Happy travels. Dianella. Next story of this video. Posted by you slash Abig, Blueberry, Pie. Halloween party. So you've decided that instead of going trick or treating, you want to be a cool kid and party? Okay, I'm making a list because I'm going to a party similar to yours and want to help a fellow party goer survive. 1. A day before Halloween, you'll see a scarlet envelope written in cursive. Don't question the envelope, even though it's empty, you're invited. However, a lapis envelope means that you're not invited, maybe just go trick or treating this year. A white envelope is a bad omen, go to bed early and stay home until it's sunrise. 2. After sleeping, you'll wake up in the party with a costume. 2A. A ghost costume means that you should avoid dark corners. 2B. A skeleton costume indicates that the drinks aren't recommended. 3. The house is big so don't get lost, if you're too social, then they'll you're not one of them. If you're too antisocial, then you'll be questioned thoroughly. The success rate is very low. 4. Any costumes that feature any shade of color that looks red means that person is not friendly. Socialize with them and your head will be turned 180 degrees. 5. Assuming you have a conscience it'll be hard to resist but by the love of whatever god you worship, don't open the door to the washing room. I know the cries, screaming, and saws may be a bit overwhelming however, do you want to join them in there? 6. Keep track of the time on the watch you've been given with your costume. Once the party hits its climax at 12 am, rush to any bedroom. Once there, hide in the wooden closet. You may think the tired and possibly inebriated yells of your peers is just dumb fun, don't come out until 1am if you value your legs. 7. The food looks enticing but of course, that's a trick. Stick to what you know is human food, especially not the meat. 8. After 1am, the lights will become more seizure inducing but the monsters will start to lurk. 9. In a hallway, if you're alone and the lights go out, run. Flashing lights will be coming from behind you. If you do track well then you're good, but if not then run like your soul depends on it. Stay sharp the entire time as even if you have memorized the entire house's layout, it will constantly change around until you can find another person. It's afraid of the things that are the fellow party goers. 10. I can hear a twist in my ears. I want to look up, my eyes are having to be forced shut so that I don't look. The air is cold and I'm so scared but I want to do it. 11. I don't why, but I looked. The eyes of that four-legged monster felt like I was swallowed whole. I can feel my body slowly shutting down, ATL East my hands still work. 12. I'm an atheist but I'm praying to God, ironic. The twisting sounds are all around me. I can feel subtle breathing from my chin. It seems like a girl with a crimson dress is coming, but I can't move. Mom, Dad, I love you. 13. I like when my victims cry, it makes it more fun for me. 14. Yelling won't help. It'll only make things worse. 15. Hey you. I know you're reading this right now, ready to attend a party or maybe you're sitting there in disbelief as twisting is starting to become the only sound you'll ever know again. All I know is that you, won't, escape. That lapis or white letter isn't going to stop me from coming for my candy. I hope this guide helps you survive your next smile.